actually, if you do the part with that particular song, I imagined it. Which if we do the part, <laughs> Kelsey, my sawed-off song time. I've been in 17 school productions. And how many times have your competition been selected? This would be the first. Which tells us what? That I need to write you more so No. It tells us you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary. And you should be thankful that me and Ryan are here to lift your music out of its current obscurity. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sure, pay. <laughs> nice talking to you. doing the show. Exactly that. We're singing a duet, Troy. A duet means two people. Well, mostly me in this case, but whatever, a duet! Employee. Employees aren't allowed in the show. No, 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 no. You're an honorary member. Not anymore. I asked Fulton for my kitchen job back. What? Trope, I don't like the way you've been treating my friends. And I don't like the way I've been treating them either. So I'm doing something about it. <laughs> An entire table of university boosters are coming to see you. Thanks to me. So I'll be their waiter. They'll be thrilled. Trey, Trey, this could change your life. Be more interested in about what my friends think of me than what I think of myself. Oh, we can all hold hands around the campfire some other time. Right now, we have a show to do. No. You've got a show to do. I got a kitchen to clean. Forget about the rest of us. How about the fact that your brother has worked extremely hard on the show? Oh, boo who? He'll be in the show. He'll do his celebrity impersonations. And don't lecture me about Ryan, given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. What? You've got him written up by Fulton for sneaking on the golf course, swimming after hours. I had to step in just to save Troy's job. I'm not interested in what you think you're doing for Troy. That's between you and him. But you're messing with my friends my summer, and that's not okay with me. You don't like the fact that I won. What's the prize? Troy? The Star Dazzle Award? You have to go through all of this just to get either one? No thanks, Sharpay. You're very good at a game that I don't want to play. So, I'm done here. But you better step away from the mirror long enough to check the damage that will always be right behind you. I said keep an eye on them, not turn them into the cast of Grease. Pretty cool, huh? Do you want us to lose the Star Dazzle Award to a bunch of dishwashers? Us? Well, I guess that's showbiz. When did you become one of them? You know, I'll take that as a compliment. But you and Troy have a good show, sis. Oh. We plan to. That new duet that Troy and Gabriel sing? I need it. Actually, it's not available. Repeat? Gabriella, just in case they disappear. We're an employee here, not a fairy godmother. Let's have it. Transpose it to my key. Troy and I will be doing it in the talent show. Oh, and bring up the tempo. We'll need to keep people awake. What about our song? What about whom or whom? Change in plans. What am I supposed to do with my tiki warrior outfit? Tim for Halloween? Go to a luau? Sell it online. I don't know. But in the meantime, keep an eye on those wildcats. They're planning on being in the show, which I doubt once they hear about Troy and me. I don't want any surprises. Oh, and don't worry. We'll find something somewhere for you in the show. Or the next show. Don't strain yourself, Slick. My life is over. I've been a good girl. Never lied. Except when necessary. I've always bought my parents expensive gifts. Using their credit card, of course. I don't deserve this humiliation. How's your show going? How's it going? My show makes the captain and his dad look like he's won the lottery. I'll sing with you, Sharpay. What? I promised. And I keep my promises. But what was the first thing you said to me when I started working here? Drinking more iced tea? Think harder. We're... All in this together. Exactly. Well, we are. So let's get out there and knock him dead, Troy Bolton. I do the show if the Wildcats do the show.
And I think fast. I just sort of wish you were doing this for me. You're a good guy, Charlie. Actually, right now I think I like you better than I like myself. Did I just say that? And neither do I. And you can tell Mr. Merritt Scar that he can... Oh! <laughs> Pay no attention to the woman behind the wall. Who are you and why are you insulting me? I'm London Sprain. <laughs> I'm the one who's been talking to you all day, and I can't listen to your dribble for one more second. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's this about? Look, the truth is, Maddie's been coaching me through this... Computer chocolate chip. Why would you need coaching? Wait a minute, did she just say computer chocolate chip? Enough said. Well, I'm not smart. I'm not a merit scholar. I'm not even sure what we've been talking about for the last two days. So all the stuff you were saying about art and music and literature, those weren't your opinions? Nope. <laughs> oh, except for what I said about the banana nut muffins. I really do like them. They're soft from the banana. They're crunchy from the nuts. <laughs> Doesn't get any deeper than that. The good news is, Nut Girl will probably vote for you. Unlike me. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't need the vote of some tree hugger. If you have it your way, there won't be any trees left to hug. Next you're going to blame the oil companies for global warming. Yes, because they're to blame. Oh, cry me a river. If I did, you'd pollute it. You bleeding heart liver. Establishment puppet. Do you want to kiss me as much as I want to kiss you? I'm surprised someone as smart as you would have to ask. <laughs> wow, didn't see that coming. I hate you. I hate you more. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what they'd do if they liked each other. 